Oh no. Oh no. Will they both fit? Absolutely not. I've made that dish a hundred times. It's never turned out like that. Uh, where's the butter? Where the butter is? Oh, sorry. No. Oh no. Oh, the cranberries. Thank you. Hundred. Yay! My partner's dog, Darwin, really looks like Benjamin Franklin. He's an <laughs> adorable border collie. I feel like I'm on like. <laughs> Survivor and we just got a clue. Hello, Vaughn. Hello, Eric. Hello, Priya. Here's $100 for you to make Thanksgiving dinner. And here are the rules. You cannot spend any more than what's given to you in this envelope. Pantry essentials like salt and pepper are fine to exclude from your grocery After list. After shopping, you'll be given six hours to make all of your dishes. I can do it in two. No prepping ahead. That's in caps. Your dinner must be enough to feed four people. You can cook as many dishes as you'd like, but it must include a main dish and a dessert. All right, cool. I love Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a colonialist holiday that celebrates a genocide. However, it is a day that we have off and it is the only time of year where my family celebrates. Thanksgiving has been an opportunity to really just have fun and lean into the cooking, try all new recipes. My Thanksgiving would be like if Norman Rockwell did like a ton of acid. It is chaos. We give each other gifts as if it's Christmas and we celebrate Pai Dooj, which celebrates siblings. So really we do like a triple holiday. So many children, so many animals, they're all trying to get at the food. And my mom, her three brothers and their families. People yelling at each other. My cousin Raga. Sisters fighting. His family. The worst is when people show up early. Who would ever think that that's okay? My dad's brother. I am still in my pajamas. I'm sweating. Eight pots going. I'm yelling at my mom. And it's either just me and my partner or maybe a couple friends. I really like this kind of Thanksgiving because it really encourages everyone to sort of contribute with what's important to them. At the end of the day, we all sit down and we're exhausted, but we have a wonderful, wonderful time. My mom took the things she liked from a traditional Thanksgiving, which are basically the pies and the cranberry sauce, and everything else is basically Indian-ish. That kind of ethos around our Thanksgiving table, what it looks like, really came from my grandma and nanny because she would start cooking in like September. Every year, we try a new cut of turkey, just to like learn how to cook it. When I found out we were doing a $100 Thanksgiving, I was like, I, I like kind of usually do it under $100. I can't imagine the Thanksgiving dinner that we cook is like crazy expensive. I'm actually actively really bad with money. I'm also really bad with time management. This is just like the worst thing in the world for me personally. The dinner I kind of have in mind is a really like home cooked, homey French Thanksgiving. I'll probably stick to the things that we eat for Thanksgiving, but like do them in a fun way maybe. I have not really thought about this except for like, oh, it'll probably be under a hundred dollars. I don't, I will be very curious to see if I can do all of that. Groceries are really expensive right now. I'm not cooking here. We're gonna cook in my apartment. Oh yeah, oh my God, I forgot about that. We are going to shop for ingredients and head back to my apartment. Holy shit, it's gonna be so hot in my apartment. At the end of the day, Thanksgiving is ultimately a home cooked meal. Can I please run my air conditioning? <laughs> this is hard, this is harder than I thought. I'm already sweating. It's like- <laughs> Remember that trick? See if there's the guy in the corner. And that's how you know it's real. Anyway, going out for drinks tonight, I guess, with this. I promise not to spend it at the club. <laughs> like, Cece gave me a $100 bill like weeks ago. This was like four weeks ago. You expect me to still have it? So we're at the grocery store now. We're at Wegmans. For me, the goal is always lean on fresh produce when I can. It's gonna be cheaper. Beans, 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 beans. Beans are really affordable. We agreed that butter doesn't count. <laughs> the prices here are just so much better than my regular grocery store. If I lived near Patel Brothers, I would pretty much exclusively shop here. Don't do what I did. You should always go into the store with a, with a list of actual ingredients that you need. I'm gonna sort of just use my head and then inherently probably gonna forget something. I've got Beyonce on my shirt, Jesus on my necklace, less, and uh, <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> I could probably spend $1,000 at this grocery store, but being kept to a budget is good for me personally. Where does one source a cart? Oh, you know what? Corn. Part of the dinner party experience is cooking stuff for people that they would never make themselves. 
I hate husking corn. It's like the worst thing in the world. So I'll do it for my friends. And they're all cooks, so they understand the work that goes into it. It's all emotional manipulation at the end of the day. I think that butter is the most important part of Thanksgiving. I've already spent like a fifth of my, <laughs> just <laughs> two sticks of butter on a carton of eggs. So five dollars, eight dollars. So eight plus five. Daikon. Mmm, that'd be really yummy. Yep, definitely getting one of these. You know, part of grocery shopping too is just going and seeing what looks good. I love watercress. Ah! I need carrots. I need a lot of carrots. Oh, I need some citrus too. Grapefruit would be fun. Ooh, this one looks good. Oh, aha. I think I only need one red onion. Curry leaves. A dollar a packet. 15 Roma tomatoes. Oh, okay. chilies. I know I need milk. Well, what's the difference in these eggs? Oh my god. <laughs> now is not the time for organic. Minus three. Oh, ooh, ooh, tamarind. Oh, I need bread. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Oh, wow, they have a lot of bread. Can you tell I have trouble paying attention, keeping like attention stuff? And I never buy celery unless I have to. I need carrots. I'm making Thanksgiving today. Thanksgiving. I was like debating whether to make mac and cheese or not, but I think I'm gonna make. I mean, you gotta have mac and cheese. Hello? Right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get this other block of cheese. Where are the carrots? Are they over there? I love marshmallows. I'm gonna just get one. But seriously, where are the carrots? Carrots, carrots, carrots. Ooh, okra. That smells a nice flavor. In place of celery. Ooh, radishes. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Don't you hate when you get home from the grocery store and you forgot one single thing? I've got ingredients for one thing, and I've already spent over $20. Oh, I see chicken. Get in, girls, we're going shopping. <laughs> I may not have enough money left over for herbs. We're gonna get three bunches of cilantro just to be safe. Red onions. Oh, no. oh my God. I mean, oh, that's pretty. My dad always taught me to shop for limes by looking for the ones that were, it's called cogsy, which is like paper-like, that have like a paper-like exterior. Those are the easiest to squeeze. Typically, if it's got good heft to it, or if it's like fragrant, you know that's good. Wow, there's a whole wall of carrots. I don't need that many carrots. Just trying to figure out how to buy the teeny tiniest amounts. Smallest quantity of turmeric powder. Smallest quantity of coriander seed. Mustard seeds. Elaichi kahahe. I know too. Three forty nine. Oh, amazing. Oh my god, I feel <laughs> I feel like the target lady. And it's on sale! I'm gonna round up to 60, because I tax. I say it's like 7% on some things, and I think groceries, it's like, oh! Generally, food and food products sold by food stores are exempt from sales tax. That's not true. Okay, oh my god, there's so many laws. Elaichi, elaichi, aha! Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Turkey drumsticks, and they're so beautiful, five dollars. I'm gonna get like four. I'm gonna get like some sweet Italian sausage. Ooh, seven dollars. Bratwurst so, with beer. Pesto with feta and spinach, that's a little too Oh, much. turkey sausage. When did sausage get so expensive? It's frustrating. Okay, I need to get cranberry. I'm doing good, I think. What time is it? 9.23, oh god. Cloves and fenugreek. Uh, I think that's back over here. Okay, just gonna do a little math. Okay, five, six. I forgot to see how much the carrots were. I'm sort of bruising my herbs. Oops. Sorry, herbs. Ugh. How much is the water cost? Oh my god, I lost it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm only at like 50 max. <gasps> $10. Center cut ham steak with the bone in. I'll just find a smaller one. $9.73. It's a lot of flavor. I'm gonna use this in a, few, a couple dishes. I'm gonna regret it later. Cannot find fenugreek. Fenugreek. Fresh roti. Sir frozen, hey? Mm -hmm. um, damn. Oh my god, I should have gotten a cart. We can't afford organic today. Oh, Croque Madame has cheese, huh? Damn it. <laughs> cheese is so expensive. Urgh. I need like a fancy Gruyere too. Why did I commit to this? Swiss. That's close. This is for the bechamel. Oh, that's a train. Oh, cute. What a great grocery store. That's cool, they have kimchi. Ooh, is that pickled okra? Oh my god. Oh my god, cocoa powder's so expensive. Ah, mmm, ah. Oh my god, okay. God, nuts are so expensive. I need nuts. I need nuts. I need more than just these nuts. <laughs> oh god, it's time to leave. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where's the butter? You know where the butter is? Akipas frozen puri, hey? Yeah, yeah. I do want to make two pies, but is that dumb? No. Watch my math be like way off. <laughs> oh, canned cranberry. Jellied, obviously. What uh -huh. They don't have my favorite brand of chutney. <gasps> They're like almost out. Better than bouillon. Wow. I guess I have to build flavor from scratch. Ugh, fine. Oh, they have, they have beans here. Some cream. 
$3. Oh, now I'm just moving with reckless abandon. Hundi tea. Oh. That was embarrassing. Oh, apples. Apples, it's fine, it's easy. Probably just two, I just need two. God, there are so many types of apples. You want me to have an existential crisis? Put me in front of all the types of apples. It's like a Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> this is called a rave apple. I wish we had pink ladies. Red delicious. Get out of my face. Macintosh. That's my brain is so expensive. I gotta weigh these. Oh, Honeycrisp. Is there a weigh station around here? Three ninety nine a pound. Two dollars for an apple? No, I can't do that. I can't do that. No, red delicious. Ginger gold. Those are pretty good. I just want like a red and a green, but I'm gonna snap that in. No, not a Fuji. Not a Fuji. There's lots of really great biscuits in Indian food, but I think I'm gonna get Parlay G's because they are inexpensive. Five for a dollar. You cannot beat that. Peanuts. This is what I'm looking for. Oh God, where the hell are the peanuts? Peanuts, peanuts, peanuts. Have you guys seen the peanuts? It's not Thanksgiving if you don't revisit an aisle three times. Peanuts, here we go. Oh, 4.49. Heavy cream. Seven dollars. <gasps> Let's see. We're getting tight now. Ooh, sale. Oh, fun. Ooh, kettle chips. It says you save if you get two, but sometimes that means that one is only two dollars. Four pounds of yogurt. That should do it. I don't know if they're gonna have cranberries here. TBH. Okay. I think I'm done. I think we're good. Do you think it's $100? I'm gonna put these last. All right. I'm nervous. How much? What am I at? <gasps> oh, I'm gonna be watching the, the ticker. I did a horrible math. Hey, there is tax though, right? There's yeah. okay. The meats are what are gonna take us over, I think. I've never been so nervous. Wait, I've got 20 extra dollars. Wait, sorry, I'll be right back. Oh my god, I'm getting bacon. I'm getting bacon. <sighs> this is so exciting. What else can I buy? If I change out the creme fraiche for the sour cream, put the bacon back. I may not have a place for anybody to sit, <laughs> but I will have caviar. Saffron? Zafran paste? You can afford saffron. <laughs> Do you like ham? I do. I love ham. I did something crazy. Can we take out the sour cream really quickly? 98.85. Uh, the candy of the gods. <laughs> no way. Do you see that? <laughs> oh my god! I'm so happy. <gasps> That's crazy. So I'm gonna be at 99.99. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, jeez. I feel really smug. Guess how much I spent. $99.99. I know this entire store backwards and forward now. Have a great day. We made it. Back in my apartment. One thing that I totally did not do was clear out any space in my refrigerator. We're gonna have lunch, we're gonna chill. Maybe take a nap. But I wanted to get the cassoulet-ish started. Braised turkey legs need some time. And so do beans. So I'm just gonna start soaking. I'll just leave that there. First thing I'm gonna do is make pie dough because that's gotta start hydrating. 10 tablespoons of butter. It's gonna be a little colder, so I'm gonna put it in the freezer for a sec. I put the yogurt to strain because the key to Shrikhand, uh, which is sort of a cardamom saffron yogurt dessert, is that the yogurt has to be really thick. I'm gonna start measing my stuff. This is a garbage bowl that Rachel Ray gave me. This is mostly for aromatics. It's called a cassoulet-ish because no way in hell we're doing a full cassoulet. <laughs> That's like way too much work. Let's call this turkey and beans. Mies has been plus. The thing that creates a flaky dough is when all of these pieces of butter kind of layer on top of each other. So right that is a staple at Thanksgiving. It's like the cooling, refreshing counterpart to all of the, you know, spice heavy, stuff that we have on our table. You want it to be like a little looser, like do not buy Greek yogurt when you're making raita. A lot of people will add a little bit of milk to loosen theirs up. You know, I might just do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the chili powder. It needs bundi. Bundi is basically like these little balls made of chickpea flour that are fried and they add these like amazing pops of texture. Like my, one of my favorite textures is crunchy, gone soggy. I need to season my meat. They're not the same as chicken. They, they need time. I keep trying to shortcut, you know, turkey and it's kinda, I kinda can't. Once it comes together like this, 
I'm gonna flatten it a little bit, but I'm gonna use the rolling pin to then work it into the corners. And that's gonna go in there. Oh, ew. Chole is amazing in that it stews for a long time. You start with dry chickpeas, they cook down and become really creamy and delicious. We don't have time for that. We have like five hours before guests are coming. So I'm making a shortcut version. This is not how my mom would make it on Thanksgiving. My mom doesn't know I'm doing this. I was going to tell her and then she sent the Thanksgiving menu yesterday and she assigned me cranberry sauce. And I was so upset that I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna tell her. And then I was like, what else can I do? And she was like, you can help Seth with the pies. Okay. I volunteered to make the butternut squash which I will be making today. And she was like, no, I'm gonna let your Aunt Rachna make that. Okay. <laughs> Part of me wonders if it's because I am left-handed. Like, I think that for righties, the, the sight of left-handed people chopping is like very scary. Lots of olive oil. Sage can go in a hole. They're gonna get crispy. Sage is the smell of Thanksgiving. When you spatchcock a chicken, it just cooks a little bit more evenly. So I'm just taking a really sharp pair of kitchen scissors here. There we go, that's my oyster. So I wanna make sure that I keep that on there. The oyster is like, it's just like the, the most tender, most flavorful piece of meat. So that's one, I'm actually gonna save this. You wanna just kinda break, break it. And then that way, it lays flat. Wobble -wee, wobble -wee, wobble -wee, wobble. Now I'm just going to season it all over. Okay, so we got that one in. And then what I think I'm gonna do, put the other one on that. Wow. Oh, sh I, I want these to like cook down almost like a chunky tomato sauce is what I'm going for. This is the smell of my kitchen growing up. Okay. This always happens. We've got a nice little gravy going. So I'm gonna add my chickpeas. Ideally, you would let this cook all day. Mmm. Mm. Really good. <laughs> Damn. Really good. Mm. So I'm just mashing the chickpeas just a little bit. Set it and forget it. Chole. Boom. Done. Ready for the sear. Do some batches. I'm just gonna really try to render out the, the turkey fat. Mmm, that's the turkey smell. Get a little fennel in there. That's like good enough. It's, it's not the hardest sear in the world. And the turkey is sort of replacing the rabbit. It's usually in cutaway. I'm flipping the bird. Sorry, that was so stupid. On to the next step. Not, oh, all the aromatics get tumbled in. The carrots in. I'm using my instincts first. I definitely want more pepper in there. And that looks adorable. During lunch, I made a sneaky stock. Now I'm gonna make frangipan for my pie, which is basically just like an almond cream. So I'm gonna just eyeball it. <laughs> I would invite Olivia Rodrigo to my Thanksgiving. Chocolate chest pie is definitely something that's always on my Thanksgiving table. It's basically just like a chocolate custard pie, that's so good. Okay, so now I've got this done, I've got stock made, I've got my chickens brined. I laid out some bread for my cheese puff to kind of get a little stale. I'm so excited to like see what Eric and Priya dream up. What's next? Mutter paneer. You can totally use canned tomatoes. I like the added freshness. No one will be able to admire your beautiful knife skills even if you have them because this is all going in a blender. Some people peel their ginger, I do not if you buy it fresh enough, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm just like playing fast and loose with like, how much ghee is too much ghee? We melted our fat and now we're toasting spices and we're looking for the cor coriander and cardamom to just sort of brown a little bit. You really just have to use your senses at this part. It smells real nice. Letting them toast is like really the difference between complex and it kind of being not as, not as interesting. What time is it? Tomato time. I think this is done. Perfect. Call in that. Now we just uh, put it to bed until it's time for showtime. Beans are soaking. Turkeys are going. 
Thanksgiving is nigh. Sorry. Ooh. Add a sight, add a mind. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is brown some butter. I, it's gonna be definitely in the mashed potatoes and maybe in the gravy. When you cut paneer, if you're not gonna use it immediately, I like to just keep it chilling in warm water so that it stays nice and plump. Otherwise it could dry out. That's one thing I forgot, bay leaf. So I'm gonna blend it now. With butter paneer, I don't like to like blend it till it gets like pulverized. I like like a few little chunks in there. Look at me using a little spoon for the turmeric. Man, I'm really sad about, I forgot bay leaves. Don't you hate when you get home from the grocery store and you forgot one single thing? Those may not have even broken the bank, the two bay leaves. This is a mom trick. Yeah, do you think your family and friends are gonna be impressed by this? Friends? Yes. Family? I don't know. I don't know if this is this audition tape is gonna be enough to get me the gig of a single dish at Thanksgiving. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Mmm. Ooh, yum. The meat does not need a braise anymore. Chunk up the meat. I'm gonna strain this. Girl's best friend. Do half. Mmm. It's time to turn my oven on. It's, I just turned it on. I can already feel myself sweating. I've been dilly-dallying a little bit, but now I gotta really focus, which is hard for me to do. I'm really gonna try to make this as much of a circle as I possibly can. And not working it too much, you don't wanna stretch the gluten too much. This is why I'm getting cranberry sauce duty, because it's impossible to f up. Want to go fancy with it, but no one wants that. They just want plain cranberry sauce, and that's fine. Gotta give it to them. I know that Vaughn makes a lot of the desserts for his Thanksgivings and probably cooks with his family. I know Priya's mom doesn't let her do much. Like, literally, how my mom makes cranberry sauce is she just like puts it all in, and that should tell you how well she is assessing my cooking levels. I'm just like different because I've always been in charge of the Thanksgiving since I was little because no one else wanted to do it. Eric will contemplate the meaning of life itself. The more you do something, the better you get at it. Down to the cleaning, you know, that last last wipe of the counter. It's, it's all part of this ritual. I love kielbasa. Slice it up. Daikon is incredible. It's, it's bitter sweetness. And what I like to do is just make like really thick, what are these called? Columns. There will be exactly five. And I'm really bad at math, so I have six. This is a galette, so like, I'm not worried. Like, I kind of want it to look a little rustic. Galette dough. I'm just gonna put it onto the sheet tray like that. I'm gonna spread the frangipane over the top. I'm kind of pre-curling it so that it doesn't break when I try to, oh no. My pie weights, which I realize I didn't buy these, but like, whatever. Sometimes the butter can kind of like leak out and cause the bottom of your oven to burn. So, I honestly don't think it's that crazy to be able to feed six people for $100, but at the same time, it kind of is. Like, even if this apple weighed like an ounce more, I would have been over budget. I'm gonna kind of just like layer these apples on here. Hi, baby, do, 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 do. Do you like Olivia Rodrigo? I like Olivia Rodrigo. Mm-hmm. We're shingling, we're shingling. I shingled my apples. Folded over the dough, did a little egg wash, sprinkled that with some sugar, and I also sprinkled the tops of the apples with a little bit of a sugar mixture that I made that's got cardamom, cinnamon, and ginger. I'm writing down the name of each dish and then putting the garnish that is required so that I remember. So I'm like, all right, mutter paneer needs cilantro. Says it on top. Meanwhile, cranberry sauce is cooking away. This is the shrikhand. It's like, it's still dripping. Hmm. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. I think I should just do it. This goes in here. So I'm just crushing my cardamom pods. Your shrikhan is gonna taste 10 times better if you crush the seeds yourself. Saffron is expensive, yes, but a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just crushing this into a powder. And the sugar. This is what happens when your husband is six foot two and bakes. And so what the saffron will do is it'll sit and it'll like make this orange hue that'll just stain the shrikhan. Fridge, now crumble. So this I'm kind of making up. This is not mom approved. 
let's see how it goes. Oh wow, it got, probably should have food processed it. I just hate this food processor. It's the bane of my existence. Okay, fine, we're gonna food process it. I dig it. Basically, I'm gonna take the flavors of croque madame, turn that into a nice, you know, bready moment. I'm basically putting my ham scraps in here. Chunked ham in the stuffing. It'd be like a nice kind of eating experience. I'm just gonna tear this up. I love croque madames and bechamel. Like I think even more than turkey gravy. My oven's at like a very low 325 right now. So that's perfect for that. Well, our guests are coming in two hours. So building a plate is having each dish sort of touch at the edges. And salt. I think that's something I think about a lot. The bechamel is gonna be echoed here in the, the stuffing because of this like nutmeg, milk and nutmeg flavor. Oh, what a satisfying sound. Mmm, yeah. that's a satisfying sound. This is our one cheesy moment, you know? Like, I, I, I don't really have that much cheese. I'm not gonna go overboard, but just want a, want a cheesy moment. That's gonna be good. Jimmy. Now that my pie crust is par baked, I'm gonna go in and make my chocolate chest pie. What's tough is that I'm gonna be baking two pies in there that kind of have to bake at different temperatures. So I don't want any of the chocolate to seize up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start the butter and then I put the chocolate in. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like dessert. I don't know if Eric and Priya are doing lots of desserts, but maybe that sets me apart. Now we are on to squash, which to me is like this screams Thanksgiving squash like you've never seen it before. I always knew our Thanksgiving was like pretty cost effective, but I'm impressed. I didn't really skimp on stuff. Like there was nothing I was like, oh, I really wanted to buy that, but it's not in budget. We bought like five or six spices. Oops, uh-oh. And we're just using combinations and like permutations of them in every dish but every dish is gonna taste really distinct. People who peel carrots, I'm just like, oh love that for you, but that yeah. will not be me. Squash. Kind of love cooking in a big ass pan. Cause like, I feel like sometimes when you cook, when I cook this dish, I'm like trying really hard to like make it fit in a small pan, but this is like nice and roomy. So we're just cooking this until it's tender. This pumpkin, the tomatoes were like water, waterier than anticipated. Fine. I just, the texture isn't right. It's just different, just, it's fine. This is the dish that you wanted to make for your family? Yeah, man, <laughs> some audition this is. Boom. I think a little salt could be fun. And the salt will kind of make them limper. Helps vegetables taste more of themselves because when you draw out the water, it, it concentrates their flavor. That's what I think. I'm trying to get this really fine because I think I'll, I'll use it across my dishes. I'm gonna let this raw shallot flavor vinegar. See how floppy this has already gotten, how wet. It's been like 10 minutes. Carrots are amazing. You know how like some families go around and talk about what they're thankful for, we don't do that. <laughs> I think we talk about food. I think my family is pretty literal. I probably need to season it a little more with salt. That seems like a lot, but it's not. And this is gonna pickle. As that sits, it's gonna get even better. Dish one finished. So basically it's just, it's almost like a custard. So I got my room temp eggs. This is my homemade vanilla extract. Oh, it's just strong. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I'm testing recipes, I always just use store-bought vanilla extract. It's gonna have a different like aroma and a different Oh yeah, that's the shot. And chess pie is like, it's a Southern thing, I think. Somebody was telling me that chess pie derived from somebody saying, just pie, <laughs> it's just pie. All right, putting it back in the oven. Check up on it, check up on it, check up on it, dip it, pop the trick, stop it. Watch me shake it, I see it, you face it, face it, you face it, watch me in amazement. I think Vaughn, will sing a lot. Name that I'm teasing, but I ain't got no reason. I'm like a little behind. I'm gonna make the rice, then I'm gonna make the chat. Rice, cooked. Curry leaves are probably in my top five favorite ingredients. It's gorgeous. The peanuts for chili peanut rice. 
The peanuts we spent so much money on. This is, this is gonna go horribly for me. Peanuts too fat for funnel. This is like the actual better way to cut chilies. You'll start hearing these like pop, they'll pop like popcorn. It'll go like, it'll like be very fireworky. It's very exciting. How are you feeling now? I'm just, I'm a little sad about this water content of the squash. I've made that dish a hundred times. It's never turned out like that. And now we're basically just toasting the peanuts. Toasting nuts is so fucking stressful. It's like you look away for a second and they're burnt. So we're gonna build a dressing. I'm gonna do a little bit of white balsamic, but also lemon. Very, very rarely do a Dijonette. Is this cheating that I'm like pulling from my pantry? Kind of. I think this is like a pantry staple. Fish sauce. Just making a vinaigrette. I haven't even started the corn pudding. I'm gonna add all this parsley. I think being served a salad is really special. It's like, salads kind of take work. And personally, I love a salad with whole parsley leaves in it. So I'm going to keep this in the fridge. We're ready to eat. Ah! It's all coming together. So wait, what do you have left to do? The corn pudding and the cranberry relish. And then we're like, ready. And the bechamel. And the bechamel. Hmm. They look okay. So I'm just gonna cut off the stems and cut down the core. And then I will do like, uh-oh. Brussel spult down. Jennifer Coolidge is more of like a wow. And Owen Wilson is wow, wow. Owen Wilson. No, that was Jennifer Coolidge. Wow, I gotta go. I'm your sister, is what I do. <sighs> little Jay, it's my little garbage bowl. Had this kind of stroke the other day of genius that Stroke of genius? No. Yeah. I was like, oh, like what if I made cheese puff? Because it's kind of like a mixture between mac and cheese and stuffing. So that's why I'm doing that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna caramelize these shallots. Okay. I'm straining stock right now. And then I'll probably do like a little pat of butter. Brussels prep, so those don't go until 5.07. Mmm. Oh, f That's all right. Shut up and chuck. <laughs> just kidding. I have a recipe for a lemony cranberry relish, but I'm replacing it with grapefruit. Can you smell it? Just because I wanted to say cranberry mm. pamplemousse. So a 12 ounce bag of cranberries with 100 grams of sugar, which is half a cup. It's more of a relish. Very, very good. Mmm, happy with that. Another dish done. Once people come over and I serve dinner, I'll heat the parantas. It's perfect. I'm just cutting this into little pieces. This is absolutely the worst part of Thanksgiving. Mm, nice. So I got some thyme. Oh, drizzle. I'm gonna rotate these in like 30. So this is my cream and brown butter and I'm also gonna add some thyme. It's just steeping. I'm just gonna add a little salt in the water. So now I'm just gonna like make a little dip, like a sour cream and onion hint of cayenne. I have 15 minutes to get the corn pudding in the oven. Whisk five eggs. I should have saved some of the milk. I need it for the bechamel. Oh my god, the bechamel. Oh, she does a little salt. Oh yeah, baking powder goes in here. I feel like one rule of dinner party throwing is always show up a little late. Wait, where's the mixer bowl? A little white pepper would be really nice here. A little like muskiness. I'm tempted to salt it more, but the purpose of this will be to fresh corn. Counterbalance all the saltiness on the plate. This needs to go into the oven quickly. I think a little bit more air. Couldn't hurt. Whisk, 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 whisk. This is fun. I can't believe we made like a whole Thanksgiving dinner. Mm, basically, we're done. These last few things we'll do when everyone else arrives. <sighs> but I'm gonna just make some cream. I'm gonna add a little sour cream to the mix. Big pinch. And I'm also gonna do a tiny pinch of salt and a little good vanilla. Oh, and a lot. Pretty good. Something's telling me to put some chives in this cheese puff. We've never done it before. I'm gonna use like almost all this milk too. A little smattering of chivis. That one on top is getting toasty. I'm gonna nap. 157 in one part of the breast, but then the top one got a little bit over, so I think it'll be fine regardless, but there's gravy. Now I gotta do the cheese puff because this thing has to bake for an hour. I'm gonna just butter this, butter both sliced bread, and then maybe I'll do like a little piece right there. Put some slices on the bread. The math is not mathing on that. Hello there, Ron Reeland. Hey. 
Um, I'm making cheese puff on camera right now. I have two, I have just two layers of bread. Should I do another layer of bread? Oh, I'll put like four. Is the cheese the top layer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. bread, cheese, bread, cheese, bread, cheese. It'll be great. It'll be okay. delicious. Mix it with mayonnaise. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that, but I will, um, I, I'll send you pics. I have a feeling this is gonna really puff. We'll see. Gonna be wonderful to help make some gravy. My book, Je voudrais mon livre. Oh, these won't both fit in there. Absolutely not. No. I don't condone this, by the way. I would not, like, you need to roast in a s Yeah, those are not gonna be that great. I'm doing this to dry the potatoes out because I don't want them to be super waterlogged so that they can absorb the cream. A little bit more of this brown butter. Oh my God. I'm gonna clean. I need to clean. I feel horrifying. Friends are coming in about six minutes. So the corn pudding is in the oven. Chips are being decanted. Special amount of time. Oh, Get and I have kimchi flavor. <gasps> Oh yeah. Kasha made <laughs> kimchi. Wow, this looks great, Kasha. It's good. Yeah, you did. It's really good. Hot brew, cold milk. Hold on. Hopefully this is just milk. And it's seasoning. The hell, the lumps, the lumps went away. I wonder if we have like a gravy. Did she assign me cranberry sauce? She does not trust you. <laughs> I'm actually very stressed doing that. It. It, it feels like I'm going behind Rush Mommy's back doing this. You didn't tell her. You are. Well, I'm. I was too stressed. Okay, I think this is really good. Mayha will be the judge. Yeah, I, again. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah? Really good. Yeah, everyone's just kind of, hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for coming. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been telling everyone you're the surprise guest. It's Thanksgiving, bud. Thanksgiving, like I was in town for a I want to have a Oh, the cranberries! Oh, Pretty! Hi! Oh, God, it um, smells good in here. Oh, good, yay. Here's a little appy. This is my Thanksgiving for under $100. Just guess. $99. Higher. <laughs> 99.99. Yes. <laughs> so here we have mutter paneer, squash. This is chole. This is chili peanut rice. Right the cranberry sauce and some frozen parantas that I just heated up. I, I did sort of a cassoulet inspired braised turkey leg and this looks like mashed potatoes, but it's bechamel. The stuffing is a croque madame stuffing. Carrot salad, it's very simply dressed. This is a cranberry relish made from uh, grapefruit instead of orange. Those are corn puddings. That's just a watercress salad. This is all just an excuse to eat like bechamel because I love bechamel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is all under $100. That's really crazy, $20 a head for Yeah, like a full course. Hello. Oh, both of you Hello. here at the same time, hi. Oh my God, that looks so good. Souffle vibes, okay. I'm gonna do the cranberries now. <laughs> hi. hi, camera. I'm doing like a layer. I'm gonna drizzle. Flaky salt. And then I'm gonna do a crack of pepper, okay. That's done. Lid that, gonna put it on the stove. The chicken tastes really good. And look how easily that came away. Here is my brown butter roux. So I'm gonna add some pan drippings. Please, come eat. We have a duo roast chicken. This is fancy canned cranberries. Brussels sprouts, brown butter gravy. This is a cheese puff. Brown butter mashed potatoes. For dessert, we've got an apple frangipan tart and then a chocolate chest pie, and I have a stabilized sour cream whipped cream in the fridge. Oh my God, so please, come get it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. I really like the cranberry sauce, actually. Mm. Good thing that's what I'm, yeah, what I'm yeah. tasked for. I'm actually very happy with this. This is delicious for you. I'm happy. Oh, I'm so glad. The trouble is good, but it's different Fire. than different than your Indian recipe. Yeah, I like, I, know. I sort of like went a little rogue and just mm. did my own thing. This kind of, it's like, mm. tastes like my mom's Thanksgiving. Aww. Success. Yeah. Okay, but like mayhem, mm. you gotta. Well, it's totally is good. Noise. I mean, like definitely everything tastes differently than it does on Thanksgiving, but not so differently that it doesn't taste like Thanksgiving, you know?
It's close enough. It's allowed. Brutal. <laughs> it's going in the video. You're too late. <laughs> if you had slander, I don't even think I could mentally take it. <laughs> okay, but like in terms of just being satisfied with dinner. Yes. No, I'm, I'm very satisfied. satisfied. I'm very satisfied. We have everything. Sorry, I'm just fishing for no, compliments at this like, point. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. That's for your dessert for. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I have ideas. <laughs> so this is Shrikhand. It's um, yogurt that has been strained with cardamom and saffron, which we surprisingly got in budget. And this is not traditional, but I made a little crumb with Parlay G biscuits and pistachios and salt to go on top, just to add a little texture. Make it more of like a pie vibe. See how the hard. saffron like stained it? Yes, I like the crumb. Me too. Notice I made mine like half as sweet as my mom's. So, so many times I do the Thanksgiving meal and then it all ends up on the plate and I'm like so disappointed because I'm like, I have like two orange things or I have like two green things. Anyway, it's, it's like a little thing. We did a French dinner party yeah, yeah. like a year ago. Yeah. And we did Capricio yeah. and we did Cassoulet. I was thinking about if there were a dinner that were Kind of like that. Oh. Cheers. 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 Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> we love you. Pies and love. Oh my God. So we're thankful for it. Lordy.